Okay, my friends, I saw Joe Biden talking on TV saying, I guarantee you we will get off of fossil fuels, telling us to a girl. And right now we're destroying the earth because of fossil fuels. We don't have enough of them. Gas is through the roof. What are we doing right here? This guy has a flamethrower. He's using fossil fuels to create extreme amounts of energy. We did exactly the same thing using light, which has no fossil fuel interaction whatsoever. Watch what he does, and then I'll show you what we did. All right, you see what's coming out of here? This is a Venturi. He's forcing fuels together and combusting them and creating this enormous reaction. All right, let's just think about this for a second. What does he got here? There's no, there's nothing burning. There's no, there's nothing. As soon as he forces it to combust and all that out of the end, now we got some energy. I'm going to show you some serious energy. This is exactly what he was doing with the flamethrower. We shot light using light alone, no fossil fuels whatsoever, through a Venturi, creating this enormous reaction just exactly like the flamethrower, only it's not all smoky and nasty. Now, I have sent this to everybody, Fermilab, CERN, everybody, and they know about this because they have responded and just said they're not interested in looking because I am not certified or, or anything. Well, I can tell you right now, that is an increase in energy that is approximately 200 times what it started out here. That's because of dividing the muon from the electron neutrino, and we did it, and the black balls surround this, and the white is all by itself. That means this is fission, and that's fusion. And I'll show you that in a second. It's undeniable. This is the laser. Using a very small amount of, of energy, we should create 200 times or so more. If we can harvest it here in a solar collector, we can use that electricity, and it's electricity, it's not heat. And there may be some heat there, that's fine, but mostly it's going to be electrons. And we can throw them into batteries and send them back to ground, use a little bit of it to keep the laser going, and that should be free energy. Now, with the flamethrower, what do they do? They have something here that has no real energy to it, and then they squirt it out, and then they have a hell of a lot of heat. Now, if they could store that heat, they could use that heat to do work. We're using the electrons exactly the same way, storing the electrons to do work. No difference whatsoever, only ours is cheap, maybe even free, and non. there's no um, fossil fuels used. It's not dirty. It's not dirty at all. It's as clean as a whistle. That is absolutely, totally clean. So what have I shown you? I have shown you light literally dividing here. And when it divided, it was originally like this. That stream coming through here is these particles. They're attached together. They're glued together. Well, when they hit here, they exploded apart. The black came apart from the white right here, and they came back together here. That's fission, dividing, fusion, coming back together. Here it is right here. There is no question that's what happened. Now, what is that? These are muon neutrinos, the black ones. Now they're looking for sterile new, uh, sterile muons, and I did report it to this, to the people that are reporting on this. I sent them all this information, and I have never had anybody respond yet. This is the sterile muon, and this is the muon, I mean the electron neutrinos turned into showers. You saw them right up here. They were originally attached. They came apart here. That's fission. That's back to fusion. All right? That's 200 times more energy than we started with. And who else agrees with this? Fermilab. This is what Fermilab put out about the point particle. I mean, the, uh, this is the uh, fixed particle. These don't change. They stay the same size with this red glowy spot around it. And then the point particle gets big and small. Precisely what I'm showing. 
There they are right here. The black one never changes. That's why it doesn't go through with the white. We created a Venturi that was so finely tuned, it would only let the white come through, and the black could not get through because it was too big and fixed. These are not too big, and they are not fixed. They squirt right through there, and the black ones have to go around. And that means we divided that energy. And when they're divided, the white cannot stand alone. It has to get back to that black. And it is so voracious, they claim it's 200 times more energy than when it is attached. All right, I'm just going to finish it up here. If it had not gone through the Venturi, we would have no increase in energy. Now we have enormous increase. We have the Higgs fields that they've been looking for. We have the photons. We have the muon and electron neutrinos. We have light spinning, blue, green, red. It's all the same particle. It all looks like that. That four box right there. The green, the blue, they all look the same because they are photons. They just spin faster. This came through spinning extremely fast, and then it slows down because we put it through a Venturi. And that, you can accelerate light and you can slow it down. This is accelerated. You see how close it is and tight together? You see how loose it is down here? That's because it's, it's a decelerating. Up here, we are, e in, we are increasing the speed. We're accelerating. Otherwise, it would have stayed like this. So all of these things that have not been understood are now understood. And Joe Biden says we want to get free energy. We want to take ourselves away from fossil fuels. Contact me, Joe. All right, now don't forget, this is not necessarily tied to the grid. This is self-standing. And these things are minuscule. They're tiny. Inside of a box like this, you should be able to power a house or a car and carry it around, carry it into the woods, plug in anything you have electrical things and pumps and generators and firefighting equipment and lighting and heating and anywhere take it out into a campsite whatever just carry it in your hand you don't need to be plugged into the grid with this that's the pr another beautiful thing it's cheap it's non-polluting portable i don't see how you get any better than that i'm not guaranteeing it's going to work but with all the money they spent they should be able to spend a few hundred bucks to ch check this out so far, I've been absolutely terribly disappointed with our educational institutions, our government agencies, all of them. Now, if Joe Biden is true to his word, he will contact me, roger at mudfossils.com. I'm waiting to hear from you, Joe, or anybody from our administration that is interested in free energy, clean energy, and this could be actually developed if it works, and I'm not saying 100% it will, but I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm seeing huge increases in energy. And if this works, everything is on the shelf right now. It just has to be put together, delivered, and then we will be able to drive our cars for free, boats, planes, heat, lights, everything. This could change the entire world almost instantly and before the next election.